Okay, in this video, we're going to take a, a second look at uh, what's happening at the ribosome during uh, uh, peptide bond formation reactions or peptidyl transfer reactions. Uh, this time emphasizing the, the G proteins that are associated with each of the steps. And we'll, we'll, we'll consider uh, what, what is happening when the, the A site is getting sampled. So here I'm bringing in an, amisol, an amino acyl tRNA, and it is not coming to the, to, the, to the A site alone. It is coming in complex with uh, elongation factor Tu, which is a complex with GTP, the nucleotide GTP. Elongation factor Tu is a G protein. It has uh, the P nucleotide uh, structural motif, and it's able to hydrolyze uh, G GTP into GDP and inorganic phosphate. And I'm highlighting um, the elongation factor Tu with this uh, clock icon, because it, it what it what its purpose is is to allow a certain amount of time for this complex to to leave the A site. The 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 uh, it, it's a fairly complicated matching uh, function that has to happen here when decoding this this A site codon, and things that don't make a good match uh, persist will leave quickly. Uh, before the clock can run out and before GTP can be hydrolyzed. And so this whole complex, if, if this is not the right uh, match, will leave the A site as a unit still attached to elongation factor to you. And that gives um, <clears throat> opportunity for another elongation factor to you, amino acyl tRNA complex to come into the, into the A site. And if this is the, if this is the, correct cognate uh, amino acyl tRNA, now it lasts long enough at the A site so as to be able to undergo this hydrolysis reaction. So GTP is converted to GDP and inorganic phosphate, and that triggers some, some uh, uh, triggers the elongation factor Tu to leave, and now uh, this amino acyl tRNA is poised for catalysis. It can undergo that nucleophilic reaction to to move the peptide onto the the amino group of this amino acyl tRNA. That so the the clock function of the elongation factor Tu is really critical to to allow kinetic opportunity for the incorrect amino acyl tRNAs to leave the A site before they get incorporated into the into the polypeptide. And uh, it's absolutely required that elongation factor Tu convert over to this GDP bound form before catalysis can happen. So this is one of the um, strategies that the ribosome uh, protein synthesis machinery uses to ensure higher uh, fidelity, higher accuracy um, 